Breast cancer is the second most common form of cancer in women, and it's the seventh leading cause of death for women. One in eight women is at risk for developing breast cancer during their lifetime. In 2009, an estimated 192,370 women and 1,910 men in the United States were diagnosed with breast cancer. Breast cancer is important to study and understand because it strikes women during their most productive years and can be fatal. Research thus far has advanced our knowledge in prevention, detection, and treatment. However, more research is still needed. The Bay Area Breast Cancer and the Environment Research Center is one of four centers nationwide that studies the environmental causes of breast cancer by focusing on breast development during puberty, when the breast may be especially sensitive to environmental influences. The center is based at the University of California, San Francisco, Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics, and the Helen Diller Family Comprehensive Cancer Center, under the leadership of Dr. Robert Hyatt. The center includes a basic science project at the University of California, San Francisco, and the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory that studies breast cells in normal and cancer-prone mice. Basic science is a research field that investigates how or why a certain biological process occurs and includes fields such as molecular and cellular biology, genetics, and physiology. It provides a framework for thinking about how the breast develops and what triggers the changes that make it possible for a normal cell to turn into a cancer cell. The information learned from basic science research is later applied to research aimed at developing new ways of preventing cancer, as well as new therapies for treating patients. Basic science research is conducted in two ways. One way, called in vivo, is done using cells in a living organism. The other way is called in vitro and is done in a laboratory dish or test tube. The basic science researchers in the Bay Area Breast Cancer and the Environment Research Center are asking whether cells in the breast during puberty might be especially sensitive to environmental toxins. Puberty is a time in a young girl's life when a series of biological, cognitive, and emotional changes occur, and the breast, specifically, undergoes rapid growth. Exposure to potential carcinogens at this stage may affect the risk of breast cancer in later life. We call this sensitivity during a stage of growth a window of susceptibility. In particular, the researchers are studying how the breast develops and how it responds to environmental toxins like radiation in laboratory mice and in mouse and human cells. Mm -hmm.